In this video, we're going to walk through a bash script which features variations on the cd change directory command. We're going to use something like cd slash cd tilde. We're going to use uh, the environment variable for home. So we're going to be moving around the directory system in Linux in uh, Ubuntu in particular. So we're going to first show you two places where we're going to be a lot so that they will feel familiar. And the first is the uh, the complete root of the system. So, so, so uh, that is, I'm showing you that here, that is computer. So I got there, if I were opening a direct, uh, in Ubuntu, I would say other locations, and that brings me at least, and then I say, I think computer, um, other locations, computer, and that brings me to the root. And then this happens to be a virtual machine, and I'm on a Windows machine. So in a Windows machine, that's roughly the equivalent of C colon. So, so where that's the sort of the lowest point of the, the hard drive in a Windows machine. And it's somewhat similar uh, in, in Ubuntu that the, the root is, is, is a fair amount like a C column. They're not exactly the same, but close enough. And another place where we're going to uh, jump to often is the sort of the particular user's home. And here, so I have a user uh, Blum and this is Blum's home and there's documents, downloads and some folders uh, public. So some generated folders and then some folders I made like new underscore or folder three, I made that. So this is my user's home. And again, if we're comparing it to Windows, uh, that is like a user's Blum in Windows, and then you can see that's, again, similarly, that's where my documents and downloads are in Windows. And like uh, in Windows, there's users and then uh, Blum, there is a folder in uh, Ubuntu called Home. And then uh, I'll be talking about going home, but I'll be talking about going to my home. Um, and so let's show that that can be a little confusing. This uh, folder called home is not, is sort of more the collection of homes. So if I go into home, there's Blum, I'm the only uh, sort of standard user uh, on this machine at this time. Um, so when I'm talking about home, I'm not talking about this folder home, I'm talking about my home, which is Blum. And that's similar again in Windows. Home is like users and then and then uh, Blum is equivalent to Blum. But when I will in my script be calling something home, uh, it will be the particular, the current user's home. So it'll be more like Blum. Okay. So it's just some confusing terminology. Don't confuse. So I want to go back. Uh, Okay, so don't confuse when I'm when I'm talking about home, I'm talking about a particular user's home, which will then be for me Blum. Okay, so those are the two places I'll be, be jumping back and forth and into some of the subdirectories of these. Um, here is my script and it is in, here's this uh, little notation. We'll note that the tilde notation uh, refers to home. Uh, so that will be the Blum directory. And then I'm within the documents folder within scripts, and then I have this file. And that's where I happen to be located in my terminal. On the tilde is my home. And then I have a subdirectory of a home called documents and a subdirectory of that called scripts. And I'm going to run this file. I call change directory, change dir, change dir, the variations. I have, a, I have a lot of versions of this. Okay, and let's sort of scroll up and then look at the code and look at what it produced. Okay, so for each time I sort of do a PWD command, that's the uh, 
present working directory file, uh, command. So it tells me where I am. And then ls tells me what's there. So when I start, I was in slash home slash plum slash documents slash scripts. So that that was my location. So this is an um, I'm going to start referring to this as an absolute path that it starts with a slash. So the absolute path of where I am starts at the root, which is slash, and then a home blum document script. And I have that this file I'm running and a couple of other little bash programs in there. Okay, so now my first uh, CD command, and I am doing, here it is in, in nine, I'm using the environment variable dollar sign home, and I'm using that in conjunction with CD, change directory. So I'm changing my directory to home, and then I'm confirming that I'm there, and I'm seeing what's there. So that is the number two. Here's number two. I move to uh, home slash home slash Blum. That is my home directory. Um, and here's the contents of that, documents, downloads, etc. Okay, in three, I say CD documents. So in a change directory, in a CD command, if you have that followed by uh, no special symbols, no slashes, dot dots, tildes, anything like that, then that is uh, implied to be a subdirectory. And so there was a subdirectory called documents I was, I was home, number two put me in the home, and then there was, I went to documents, and documents is indeed a subdirectory of home. If I was in a place where there was no uh, subdirectory documents, it would have given me an error message. So if it, if it says CD and then some name like documents, it doesn't have to be a system supplied, it could be, you know, like new folder or something, whatever I made up. But if it's it's relative to where you are, and it should be sort of one of the subdirectories. Okay, so that was number three. So just a CD and some name of a subdirectory, and I saw that I'm there, and I saw what was in there. So that was number three. I move into the sub document subdirectory. So there, it's showing me that I did move there, and here are a few things I've placed in there. And we saw, we start off in the directory scripts and we see that scripts was a subdirectory of documents, was a subdirectory of Blum, which was a subdirectory of home. Okay, now what? Let's move to four. Now I'm gonna use an absolute path and my absolute paths uh, start with a slash and that refers to the root. So in this case, it's simply a slash and no more, but I'll show things and uh, later on then and start with a slash, but have more. But this one is just a slash, and that's going to take me to the root. And that's got all those root directories. Do I still have them? That's the home. And there's the there's the root, and we see the root sort of things of bin, dev, and so on. There's bin, there's dev. Okay. So that was number four, CD slash. The slash took me to the root of the system, sort of the equivalent of C colon in a Windows system. All right, that was four. So there I was in slash, and here are the contents of um, that directory. Okay, and I'm just doing a simple LS. So I'm not, you know, if I were recursive, I'd be going into the subdirectories and the subdirectory subdirectories, but this is just a simple, see what are the basic children of the root. And here they are. Okay, so in version five, I'm using the command cd tilde. And tilde is another way to say home, but the, it's again, it's the user's home, not the home directory, but home slash whatever your user is and my user is blown. So cd tilde number five, cd tilde, took me to my home, home slash, slash home slash Blum, and here were the contents of that. So tilde takes, tilde is the same as sort of like dollar sign home. It takes you to the current user's home. 
six in ver in in my sixth CD or in in the sixth echoing here. The first one was just seeing where I was, so it's the fifth CD, strictly speaking. <laughs> but I'm using CD slash bar. So it starts with a slash. So it is an absolute path. And then I'm going into send slash with the root. And then I'm going into a subdirectory of root. So var is a subdirectory of root. And then in 34, I'm seeing that that is indeed where I am. And then I'm seeing what is in var. So that was six. So again, five was the tilde, I moved back home. We're familiar with, with what's in home. Now in six, I'm an absolute path, but I didn't go to the root. I went to a subdirectory of the root by including that subdirectory's name. So there I am now in var and it has various things, backups, crash and so on. So let's, that was home. And where is, here's var and backups and cache and crash and so on. So that is indeed uh, the contents of uh, var. Okay. In version seven, um, using the tilde, which will take me home in conjunction with a subdirectory. So I'm using tilde slash documents. So I'm going, the tilde will take me home and then documents will take me into documents subdirectory. And so here that is, it took me to home blum documents, home slash home slash blum is my, is my home directory, but then I went into the subdirectory of documents. And then here's what I have in that location. Okay, I can, there, there's my uh, home. Again, this is when it's, it's trying to be nice to you. And so when you call it home, it is the user, your current user's home, but the, the parent directory is more like the system file home. But here is documents and there's gauss.sh. There's what was in, in that documents. Okay. So that was seven. Seven was using the tilde in conjunction with the subfolder. Eight is using the dot dot notation. The dot dot notation takes you to the parent of wherever you are. So everybody, every directory has a parent other than root. So every, every directory has some parent and you can move to the parent of the directory that you're currently in by going cd dot dot. So I was in, I had just moved into uh, the home and then the document subdirectory of home. So then if I'm moving up to the parent of uh, documents, that's going to be home. So eight should take me to the home. And again, the home of the current user. So it's slash home slash Blum. And then I'm looking at the contents. Okay, so that was eight. Version nine is I'm using, instead of using the tilde, I'm using the environment variable dollar sign home, but it works in the same way. So if I say cd dollar sign home slash documents, it's dollar sign home is taking it to the current user's home slash home slash Blum, and then into the documents subdirectory. So that was number nine. So number nine, we're back in documents. And there were the contents of uh, documents. And for some reason, I switched the order of LS and, and PWD there. Uh, I don't know why, just inconsistency, sorry. And now I'm showing in this last one that I can have a dot, dot, slash, dot, dot. So the dot, dot will move me up into the parent. And then the second dot dot will move me into the parent of the parent. So I will re refer to it as the grandparent. And so I was in documents. One dot dot brings me to uh, slash home slash Blum, my home directory. And then uh, the second dot dot will take me to that parent, which will just be uh, 
home. So home is the, the collection of homes for all the users. And, and again, I mixed up the dirt, the um, order and I did the LS first. So the contents of this parent, grandparent of documents is, uh, the contents is Blum. There was one, uh, only one user. So there's only one directory there. And then the current working, uh, present working directory is home. So that's what I wanted to show you, just some variations on the change directory command, uh, slash takes us to the root, tilde takes us home, dot dot takes us to a parent, uh, anything CD in some name like documents takes us to a subdirectory and they can be used in some combinations. Okay, thanks very much for your attention.